The story of Ellenville has changed markedly. Uh, at one point, Ellenville was a resort community that still had a industrial base as well. The Catskill Mountains was a great place for people to come that was not a long distance from New York City where they could come up for short weekends or for the summer. I heard all the stories from my parents, grandparents, about like the heydays of the 50s and 60s. You would come into town on a Friday night and the sidewalks would be five, six people across all the way up and down Main Street. On that spot was a building that was the casino, known as the casino where guests used to go and there would be music and dancing. Over the years, it was used for different purposes and one of the purposes was to have a boxing ring and it was set up when I was a kid. I remember it was falling apart. It, it, they weren't using it anymore. But Rocky Graziano was here and he used the Neville as a training headquarters. The resort community was, was really uh, a perfect fit for Ellenville. We're surrounded by mountains. It geographically is a beautiful area in which to live. Um, the golf courses were great. Uh, in particular, the Neville was really uh, a a highlight, a foundation of the Ellenville community. It was a gateway as you came into town. And you took one look at it and said, this is a perfect place for a resort hotel. Its history is a big part of Ellenville, but its history, part of it was uh, the Neville Resort and the entire resort industry. And that's not here right now so much. Uh, the manufacturing base is also gone. So it's a place that you're very much aware of the history and you're kind of saying, well, where are we gonna go now? Ellenville had all this already and Ellenville wants it back in a bad way. If you were to walk through Ellenville, it is a ghost town. It is a shadow of what it once was. You could almost pick any building that you want because almost all of them are vacant. We can't even support a pizza hut. I mean, that's how desperate it is here. How can an area go from having 2,000 actual year-round jobs to less than a couple hundred? It's devastating. It's sad to see high school kids after graduation, they leave because there's not much to do. They need places to work. They need places to go. Um, after they graduate, they need uh, careers. That's what we need. One of the problems that we're having is with these loss of jobs, it's very difficult for young people who even want to stay here because it's very tough to make a living up here, for, especially for the young people. When you're, you're fighting just trying to figure out how you're going to eat or how you're going to live, how you're going to pay your taxes, the opportunity to rise above that is what's important. We are economically depressed. We've lost all of our manufacturing jobs. We need something that's going to revitalize our community. What we're talking about is the very real possibility of ending unemployment in Ellenville ending unemployment in the town of Warsing, making a huge impact in the Catskills. To bring families back to Ellenville is very important. For me, Ellenville exists as a ball of potential. It needs a shot in the arm to thrust it to the next place. It will allow the people of Ellenville to again be proud of where they live. It will allow them to again have streets that are full of tourists. In order for a state to be all that it can be, every part of that state needs to be vital. And so whether it is all the way from the tip of Buffalo or whether it be to the tip of Long Island, we have an opportunity to do something special here, and that is to become a gateway to upstate New York through the Neville Project in the Catskills and positively impact the entire community and functionally end unemployment in the region. That's a pretty compelling case.
We are not just talking about opening up a casino here. We're talking about a rebirth, a revitalization of the Ellenville area. You look out your window to the east and you've got the, the mountain ridge and then out to the west is uh, the Catskill Hills and it's this gorgeous little valley. That project and, and the jobs it will bring to the community can change the community and, and the community can complement that project for the better of the whole. I think we all have to look at it and say, this is gonna happen, it's transformational. How can we make it happen the best for everyone? This is a conservation approach. We are reusing an existing facility for the same purpose. We just rejuvenate it. This is polishing an old antique and making it beautiful again. We have a shovel-ready project here, and that is not by accident. That's because all of the leaders in the community have come together over, around this project. When this legislation was initially crafted, it was crafted with places just like Ellenville in mind. So what we were doing for these years was to uh, get this area ready for the day that something may happen. Where is the future of Ellenville? Where are the jobs going to come from? if not for a project like this. If you refer back to what, the, what Governor Cuomo said, his idea was to use casinos and casino licenses to restore economic development to areas that required it. Here, in the, in the Catskills, uh, this area certainly fits that bill perfectly. We have a real opportunity to open up and to truly be a gateway, and the Ellenville and Neville project truly do exactly that. The Neville represents the last best hope for the economic development of Ellenville. In Ellenville, the excitement would build. You got to bring the Catskills back. We need the Neville, and we've been waiting for the Neville, and we are ready for the Neville. I think the Neville project is the right project in the right place at the right time. This will lift up the whole eastern side of the Catskills. When we talk about this, we have to think about what it means for the broader perspective of all of New York. We're all one New York. This was our life, and it was what we did as not only a business, but as a way of life. The Neville holds a very special place in our hearts. We spent our honeymoon here in 1948. I would be very happy to see the Neville come back. It brings back wonderful memories. It's important to bring the Neville back so that we bring the community back to where it was in its heyday. When the Neville comes back and the stores are bustling um, and people are able to find you know, good paying jobs, I think the whole community is going to change, the whole fabric of the community. People will buy homes, they'll invest money into their current homes, stores will be built, stores will be filled. I think it's just a, a community pride that will come back. Hi, my name is Brandon Lang. I've been a resident here in Ellenville for almost 10 years. I'm a senior in high school now and have come to the realization that Ellenville is a wonderful place. The scenery here is rare and you can't find it everywhere. I would love to come back here after college, but unfortunately there is nothing here for me to come back to. Ellenville is in dire need of an economic boost.